All right, here's one last question that's kind of about this idea of setting targets for climate. If we define a particular climate target in terms of the stabilization temperature that we're willing to accept, like we're willing to say that as a consequence of burning greenhouse gases, we're willing to accept two degrees Celsius of, of, of climate change, that means, A, we can continue to emit greenhouse gases until the planet reaches that new temperature, but after that we have to completely stop emitting those gases so the temperature doesn't get any higher. Or does that mean, B, that the stated goal of the society is we're going to return the global mean temperatures to the values observed before the Industrial Revolution? Or does that mean, C, there's only one, there's only a finite amount of carbon dioxide that we're going to be able to emit ever? Although we might not entirely know yet what that amount is based on uncertainties in the science and in the models and so on. Which of those three is the right answer as to what it means to have picked a stabilization temperature? Make a choice for those three options and get a little feedback before we move on to part two of this lecture.